Hey Space Cadets, welcome to Space Race, a Minecraft moon-based habitat, part of the Maker Model eSports series. The Maker Model series allows students to challenge each other in a series of classic build battles, utilising the creative functions of Minecraft to the full and allowing children to stretch their imaginations and to build in a fun but time-pressured, competition-based environment. Let's take a look around the Space Race Arena. Below us is the spawn area, split into two team colours, yellow and green. Also in the moon base, there are two team build platforms surrounded by the team's colours. The rest of the moon base is fully explorable and made up of typical space age things like a shuttlecraft, a lunar module, a meteorite and a mysterious alien vessel. Perfect for curious space cadets to explore. As you see, the moon base has a helpful scientific population and each one can tell you a little bit more about the game we're about to play. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to dive straight in. But remember, you can check them out in the playbook or open the map and discover what they have to say for yourself. So, let's start a game. First, we need a theme and some players. For this game example, we're choosing a futuristic theme, but it could be anything. Ah, here are the players. Next, let's decide how long we want the game to last. In the control panel next to the team areas, you can add or take away 10 minute increments using the blue and red button panels, or even add or take away minutes. Let's have a go. As you can see, when I press the add 10 minutes button, I get a visual notification in the game of 10 minutes. I can press it again and it updates. If I press the take away, as you'd expect, the timer updates. It also updates on the timer board, so when the teams are building, they can quickly see how much time they have left. This is a great feature for allowing you to create long or short sessions depending on your schedule. So let's make this game last 12 minutes by adding 2 minutes. Next, get your players to stand on their team colours. If you have a large group who wants to spectate, make sure they are standing elsewhere. Once we are in position, the host of the game can press the Start Game button on the green emerald block. The students' teams will immediately be teleported to their team platforms and they can begin their competitive building. Each platform has an area of Build Allow blocks that allow the students to build. Let's see how they're getting on. OK, the timer is coming to the end. When the timer ends, we all get a notification and a small new timer on our screen appears. This is the voting time. We have a couple of minutes to look at each other's work and decide whose is better. We do this by standing on the glass area next to each platform. When a student stands on this area, the team score updates on the scoreboards. If you're live streaming and or don't have enough students in the game to vote, then you can use armor stands instead. Make sure you're in teacher mode by using the command forward slash WB. Placing an armor stand on the glass area acts the same as a student standing there, and the score will update accordingly. Once the voting time ends, the scores are tallied and the winning team gets fireworks. Congratulations to the winning team! Once the game is finished, you need to reset to play again. But first, you might want to use the structure block to export the team's creative builds. Simply click on the block and press export. You can learn more about this in the playbook. And then remove any armor stands from the glass voting areas. And finally, go back to the control panel and press game reset button. And you're ready for the next round. When the students start a new game, they can clear the previous build with the click of a button found at the back of the build platform. And that's it. We hope you and your students enjoy the Make and Model Space Race Arena. And remember, live long and prosper. Thank you.